I'm Hassan Piker, and this is the Hassan Every Broadcast coming to you live from sunny California, Los Angeles, folks. We're live and alive, and I hope all the boys, girls, and MBs are having a fantastic one, okay? Because it's Monday. It's it's Newsday. It's Monday Newsday. We got it. We're doing it. We're doing it live. We're fucking going down. That just blew up a little bit, but yes, that's right. It's Monday. And we got some news, and this is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, about what's going on in my life, about what has happened, and what is to come, I guess. This is for all my parasocialists. The hoodie and the new drop is so warm and comfy. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, DJ Kento. Good shit. Stop wearing black, show me them titties. I'm actually wearing navy right now, but a very dark navy. Anyway, that intro is so incredible, but I just wish that it was not. I just wish that it was uh, <laughs> copyright free. I wish we had like a copyright free version of that song. The Patreon episode of Fear End was the best one yet. So much insanity. I know we had a lot going on. Wall Street Journal saying the SVP crash was caused because of too many diversity hires. The 12 white men running it would have not let this happen. That's funny. We'll take a look at the, all of that in a second. But let me tell you something. Folks, personal news time, personal news time, and I'm going to do it. So yesterday we were doing uh, fashion fit. We were doing uh, fashion fit reviews, which I think was probably not the best idea. I, uh, uh, Ray felt uncomfortable doing it. Because, you know, they're her friends and also because she's like, uh, uh, because, you know, she's one of the hosts of the event. She felt weird doing it, obviously. Uh, I also, I, on second thought, was like thinking not everyone likes being fucking seen or perceived or, or criticized, you know what I mean? Um, which is why I thought like, you know, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I think everyone looked incredible. Everyone looked beautiful. I mean, if, even if I do a, where'd you get those shades? I mean, they're a, a New York brand, Muscat, but I got them in Japan because I was like, uh, I got them in Japan because I was trying to like buy anything. Hassan Abi, man, you've been looking great lately. Has anyone been telling you that? You know, not enough people are telling me that, so I'll take it. Um... Because they fit my big boy head. Yes, exactly. Anyway, just do Oscars fit check since you don't know them. Fuck yes, dude. We're going to do Oscars fit check. Uh, speaking of Oscars fit check, Jimmy Kimmel. What the fuck? Um, yeah, we'll do an Oscars recap. We'll do all of that good stuff. We, we'll do all of that fun stuff. There's so much going on. Fashion, drama, news, culture. We got it all. Anyway, um... Says the guy that actively seeks hate comments. Yeah, I well, I'm I'm a different breed and perhaps not the most normal person. You know what I mean? Perhaps maybe I have bad ideas and not good ideas. Um, what is this? Iron Mouse, Doc, C Dog, VA, Hasanabi, and Love. We get about their weeb status. Oh Jesus Christ! Here we go again. What is this? This is a lie. What this is is a lie. Okay. JPEG Mafia collab win whenever uh, he apparently, according to Anthony Fantano, is coming out with one of the best albums of the year with Danny Brown. Is that album out yet? I, I don't really listen to a lot of music, as you guys know, but I but I do love Peggy. Uh, he's the goat. Um, would love to. Would love to have him on. Uh, we're on our puppy arc as well. As a community, we are on our puppy arc. Remember, uh, that is what's going to happen uh, as well. This this week, I'm trying to set it up, hopefully, for the weekend, if I can. Um, anyway, regardless... Bro, he did not make a song called Lean Beef Patty. Like, actually, pre-scaring the hoes here... Like lean beef patty, like our, like the girl. I've been begging for a puppy arc for months. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll take a we'll listen to that right now, actually. But we'll listen to that in a little bit. Um But yeah, uh last night I ended the broadcast. 
And uh, we did the Fear End podcast. This episode was jam-packed. It was stacked. Possibly the most stacked episode. Uh, possibly a bit too insane, if I do say so myself. Uh, the paywall proportion got completely out of hand. Um, originally, like the original uh, uh, free, the free part of it was already like drama packed, jam packed, but then the paywall proportion got like absolutely out of control. I mean, straight up, bananas mode went full blown bananas mode. Um, but yeah, here it is: Cutie Cinderella recapping the streamer awards, Valkyrie interrupting Hassan, deserved, and so much more. Um, we had a full blown episode, and then if you think we had too many guests on this one, guess what? Not enough guests. Even more guests actually showed up. It was fucking crazy. Ludwig, Connor Eats Pants, and Connor Dog Virginia also showed up in the middle of the fucking premium episode. There's a lot of drama. Marat showed up at a certain point. I yelled at him. Anyway, regardless... Austin wore the jacket I bought to fear and yeah he just stole that like that's his jacket now which is kind of fucked up yeah this is here's here's a taste of what was happening on the episode if you want to understand this is you can get access to this behind the paywall at uh, patreon.com slash fear and anyway regardless We'll get to all of that. That part was uh, chaos. That part was crazy. What's the shirt made out of? Velvet? No, it's it's uh, corduroy. It's a Carhartt work in progress collection corduroy. I think it's work in progress. I don't know if it's work in progress. Carhartt has like a WIP collection, which they call as like streetwear, but with the durability of like, uh, you know, uh, regular Carhartt work shirts, which I really like. I wear a lot of Carhartt, if you guys haven't noticed. It's like one of my favorite brands. So, um you know, it's, it's great. It, they make stuff for big boys. Um, you know, I, I will obviously, I rarely ever fucking touch power tools or anything unless I'm like moving them out of the fucking way in my garage. But, you know. So, yeah. At Haas, it's not a bailout. Yeah, it's not a bailout, but it's like, I think uh, I saw this on Twitter, which is a really good take. It's not a bailout in the same way that like social security is not welfare. Like, yeah, it is. It literally is though. You know what I mean? It's the same shit. It's just like, a, I know structurally speaking, it's supposed to be something different. It's like, it's not a bailout because like, yeah, it's like the PPP loans are not, I mean, that's not government handouts, right? Except it fucking were. And by the way, I probably will have a, a, a more unexpected take on this, but like that's kind of what the FDIC is supposed to do. So I love big government. You guys fucking know my shit. I love big government. That's big government, baby. And I want it. I want it not just for the fucking tech bro dipshits, but I want it for the everyday Americans. I want it for everybody. I don't have an issue with it, but we're going to get to that in a little bit. We're not doing we're not doing the, the financial uh, news uh, portion of the broadcast yet. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Instead, we're going to, it's a backstop. The bank executives and investors are getting their funds bailed out. It's the business, mainly small startups that are getting helped out by a backstop. What? Functionally speaking, the FDIC is a great, valuable, incredibly important resource. If it didn't exist, you would be fucked over. I promise you. It does not matter. Every single person technically pays into a pool of funds in some respects, and every single bank pays into it in some respects. The only issue is that, no, no, you're baiting me. You're baiting me into talking about politics. I'm not done yet. I haven't even done the segment. Listen, stop it. Stop. Clip is popping off on Twitter. Not sure if you saw it yet. Ahnaga Liz, thank you for the five. Get the subs. Um, did you already react to Charlie's doppelgangers it's at the like streamer awards, bro? I'm in it. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm in the video. <laughs> I reacted to Charlie's doppelgangers IRL. Okay, like in real life because I was there. Anyway. 
Um, <laughs> I was, I'm in the shot. I don't know if you noticed that, but I'm, I'm there right there. I'm on the right side. Um, personal news wise, uh, I did not watch the Oscars. I did finish the last of us. Uh, I think that I have a controversial take on it. I think the last of us season finisher was kind of mid that in and of itself, like that sequence in and of itself yeah, I think it was, it felt rushed. It felt out of nowhere. It felt rushed. I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, I did not see as much emotion in it. It almost felt like a fuck you. Uh, I feel like, it, you know what it reminded me of? That conversation that, that, that it, we read about in the news about like what are the creators talking about how like in a video game murder is like normalized so obviously when you kill someone it seems it's like way more impactful in a fucking movie right yeah but you made it like a video game you made that last sequence like a video game and it did lack emotion that's how i felt it fe it, it, it was like the impact of it was so deafened the impact of it was, I'm not giving you spoilers, man. Shut the fuck up. Everybody, I'm not giving spoilers. This is a spoiler-free criticism, okay? You are not getting spoiled on this, you know, cultural moment, I guess, uh, that, that happened many, many uh, years ago. It was like an 11-year-old game. And maybe because I was much younger, but when I played it, Okay. When I played it, I felt differently than when I watched it on camera. And when I watched it on camera, uh, when I watched it on film, when I watched it as a live action sequence, it did not, it, it, I felt like the, the emotion, the oomph. Like the, the, maybe it's just like, it's one of those things where like the rewatch doesn't hit the same. It felt monstrous to me. Like it was intentionally presented in a way that was intended to sever you from the character that you had rooted for to expose his flawed humanity. Maybe I'm too much of a fan of the show. No, I'm a huge fan of the show. It could be because I feel differently because I control the character's agency. That's actually a really good take. You know what? You're right. That could be the reason because I was in control Maybe that's the reason why I did not, um, maybe that's the reason why I did not actually feel some type of way. Uh, or, I don't know, maybe I have like a, like a Joel did nothing wrong attitude for that reason. And ironically, the Joel did nothing wrong attitude still carried, even though the, the impact of it was, like I said, softened by uh, the, the uh, filming of that sequence. I'm very excited for season three. Two, and I hope that they actually break it up into more seasons because, you know, another controversial take. You know what I actually enjoyed? Filler. Well, not filler, but like additional, the, the you know, the parts of the, the parts that were not covered. I loved it. Some of the best parts, if not the very best part, was filler in this last season. And I think that is because Neil Druckmann has always wanted to be like a, like a fucking... I mean, he, he writes video games like movies. He writes video games like movies. So, of course, he's getting some help, you know, from other writers. And this is a, this is a medium, a format that obviously suits him very well. So, I do think that uh, if given more time... And I do think that he should be given more time. Let him cook. I feel like The Last of Us Season 2 could be fucking awesome as long as they break it up a little bit. And don't be afraid to explore. Don't be afraid to, to show parts that you never showed in the game. Add some new shit. Add some new background. Every single thing, every single thing that was added as additional components into the, 
into the TV show that did not like get flushed out, I guess, or was not elaborated on in the video game was perfect. I loved it. And I want to see more of that in season two. I want season, I want the second video game to be broken up into multiple seasons because I think the P, the, the, the product deserves it. Part two is going to be more than one season. Okay, good. That's great. That makes me very happy. Yeah, pull a fucking attack on Titan, bitch. Do it. Just fucking farm it, dude. Learn from the Japanese, okay? When you got good IP, you farm it. Attack on Titan. Season two. Uh, attack on Titan. End the finale. Part one. Part two. Finale part 3A. Finale part 4A. You know what I mean? They got good IP. They should farm it, motherfucker. Speaking of good IP and bad IP, okay, uh, we're going to talk about the Oscars, of course. Oh, Dio is back. I know. He's back with fucking the funniest uh, thing he could have done. I mean, this is... Uh, did he get... Did he actually get a, uh, a lab dance? or Because I didn't watch the... I just saw... I only saw I oh, the real erotic barber. Yep. Yeah, Attack on Titan final season part 3, the first half. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about Jordan Peterson's fetish arc. He's very clearly uh on benzos again for the record, like 100%. I'm calling it. That's a lock. Anyway, how is he going to get into Russia this time? What? Tucker on full sim pod. I probably won't fuck with that. Um, but yeah, there's without further ado, let's get started. Let's blast off. There's a lot going on in the world I got to talk about. So uh, I will. What? Still banned? Had to switch accounts? I don't know what you're saying. Uh, what the hell am I drinking? Sir. Scissor. Uh, anyway, let's do it. Um, motherfucker is openly stating he's ban evading. What's going on with the banks? Am I dumb? We'll talk about it. Don't worry. You are not dumb. Plus bail out. Peterson meltdown. Um, uh, burr, burr, Oh, how will JBP get into Russia for his benzo recovery? Oh, yeah. I think maybe it, it'll do him, uh, you know, better if he doesn't do that. You know what I mean? No more spoilers, please. Man, when I tell you I'm going to do a fucking a spoiler, I'm, I'm t I tell you there's a spoiler alert. Okay? Shut the fuck up. Y'all are a bunch of babies, dude. I told you the one... The update was spoiler free, okay? The Last of Us analysis was literally spoiler free. Shut the fuck up about spoilers, you freaking babies. Oh my god. <coughs> it's like a 10-year-old video game, so obviously the idea that like it's spoiled is stupid, but but like even then I still respect it. So shut up cuz like I watch One Piece, it's a 100-year-old fucking uh uh, you know, anime, and, and I don't want it spoiled, so I, I respect your wishes. I understand it. I gave a spoiler-free update. Oscars drama and so much more get in now. This is a fat day, dude. There's, like, just fatty content, you know? Your lighting makes you look washed, just like your hair. What do you mean, washed? I don't know. I don't care. I like this light lighting. I'm going to go with the lighting. 
You need to get on Activia. What the fuck? Jamie Lee Curtis jumps for joy after everything. You mean like she's farting? Like, are you you're gonna take this iconic actress in her best moment and turn around and go, that ass be farting? Like that's what you just did. I mean She should not have won. Guys, uh, if you're going to do, like, Oscars playing catch-up discourse, I don't know what to tell you. Like, welcome to the Oscars. Like, you think Leo deserved it for Revenant? No. But he got it for Revenant because th that's literally the Oscars. Oscars does this every fucking year, and then people get mad. Which is exactly what's going to happen next year and the year after that. And no matter what happens, it's like... Yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis is like well deserving of an Oscar, uh, you know, a career a career in in supporting women. She she got it for literally uh not as good uh, of a role in comparison. And like um as far as uh, the only controversial thing that happened, that it wasn't even that big of a deal and she was still more deserving, yeah, it's so stupid. It's like, like people saying... Stephanie Sue. Okay, that's fair, I guess. But if you're, like, getting upset about Angela Bassett, like, uh, also deserving, okay? Also absolutely deserving. Here, by the way. Here, 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 here. Um, yes, I did talk about Linus almost ending his empire over the weekend. Yes. What must be like this generation and their participation trophies? Meanwhile, they give one to Jamie Lee Curtis. Bro, it's the Oscars. Every single person, every single person that gets a, every single person that gets an Oscar, it, 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 like that gets it too late, which most people get it too late, is getting it as like for a career of of work it's i mean obviously like sometimes people get it when the time is right when there's no fill i guess from like previous years okay if there's no fill from previous years then they do that right the well wasn't all that great he got an oscar only because hollywood abused the fuck out of him and it was an apology there's my hot take i haven't seen the whale so i can't speak on it but I mean, I'm sure it was an, an apology trophy. That that also makes sense. Did you see the not to not to performance? No, but um, but I'm sure it was incredible. My AmeriCorps merch came today, and it's fire, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. I'm glad that like the AmeriCorps merch is already being shipped out. Also, come on, I'm retweeting this. Uh, blast off. The blast off is here. Fucking uh, tell your friends. Tell tell everybody. Tell everybody up and down the block that we're live and alive and we got a lot to talk about. If you always show up around fires, you're probably either an arsonist or a firefighter. Most people assume I'm an arsonist. I'm delivering for USPS right now. Let it, I'll let everybody know. Yes, let everybody know. Will you talk about Peter Thiel's involvement in SVB? Yes, I'll talk about all of that. You're fucking crazy if you think I'm not going to talk about all that. We're going to start out with Oscars, though. Um, uh, What is this? Right wingers rushing to come up with an explanation for their regulatory failures, and that is consistent with their dumb ideology. Uh, the bank ran out of money because it was too gay. Yeah, it's true. Everyone's making fun of Donald Trump Jr. for this take, but it's literally true. Silicon Valley, uh, more like uh, Gay Valley. That's right. Too much diversity. That's the reason. Yep, that's what it is. The Wall Street Journal published that. Uh, today, I mean, dude, of course, of course, of course they did because 
like woke ideology and wokeism and all this woke bullshit is such a good way to fucking immediately shift uh, the attention of a bunch of racist, bigoted boomers away from like the actual regulatory problems. So that's why they keep hitting that fucking note every single goddamn time. Silicon Valley, more like silly gay valley. That's good. That's really good. Um, Silicon Valley gay. Here's a kid explaining what happened in SVB. No. Silly, silly cock valley. Silly cum valley. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. Okay, I like what's happening. I like what's happening here. I think we're going to find something good here. I think we're going to move away from the, the, the original. I couldn't, fum, I, I couldn't find anything good, but I think uh, silly cum valley is kind of funny i think i don't know it's it's who knows suck a cock valley okay you guys fucking suck now that's just like uh, maybe i don't know Your title's a little misleading. Bank bailout implies the investors and bank itself are being bailed out versus the depositors instead. Guys, guys, I'm going to talk about all of that. Please, just let me, let me cook, please, okay? Let me cook. Like, don't come in here at the top of the hour and think that you're going to get away with not seeing a fucking three-minute ad break. You know what I mean? You're going to see a three-minute ad break. Don't come in here and fucking try to tell me that you're not going to see a three-minute ad break. You're going to see it. I'm spackled. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Uh, you you can avoid those ads, though. Fear not. Like, for example, you can avoid those ads by subscribing for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime or by getting gifted a sub by I'm Spackle or others who gift subs. That's right. So, you know, that that is one other way to do, to do that. So here's the three minute ad break now. Yes, I saw the Eden story. We'll talk about that as well. Please stop sending me Hasanabi heads beating tater tots uh on chess. Like, I don't care. Good job, guys. Like, I'm 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 happy for you. Hasanabi's nipple gifted foggy the subs. But, bro, Hasanabi's nipple is going to be way more prominent. Hasanabi's nipple is going to be way more prominent in the future, uh, in the not so distant future. Because honestly, I'm fucking shedding, dude. I'm shedding calories. I'm shedding weight. Um, you know, shirtless Sundays might be upon us. Now, obviously, it's not going to be a body off. I'm not body off yet. You look so much bigger than Ludwig. It was wild. I mean, I am much, much bigger than Ludwig. I have like 100 pounds almost on him. 